Hello. Um, about a year ago, um, I made a video about uh, Casey Affleck. Um, <clears throat> a couple of videos, actually, about him being nominated for an Oscar um, for Manchester by the Sea, which he won, deservedly so. But um, <clears throat> there was this big thing going on that he shouldn't get the Oscar, he shouldn't get really any awards, because back in like 2009, 10, he apparently uh, he sexually harassed or assaulted some, uh, a couple of women on a film he was making. And uh, I incorrectly said that it was co-directed by Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, he was actually the director or producer and writer and actor, uh, along with Affleck, who also directed the film. But um, yeah, I made the case that you know, honestly, if they had a problem with Affleck, they should have gone to Phoenix because you know they're good friends. He would have, you know, I'm sure be able to. He's a bit an odd character in, a, in and of himself, but I'm sure, you know, if they told him the situation, he would have gotten, he would have talked to them, or talked to Affleck and just see what the whole thing's all about. Basically, you know, he uh, was accused of these things, of uh, touching them and doing stuff and letting other people do things to these two women, and yet they don't have anyone else to back them up with, back these things up with, um, like their stories. And there was a civil court, or it was a civil suit, so you know can't really know a whole lot about when all went down there. But you know, ended with his Affleck uh, paying paying them a good chunk of money, and then it just went away. Um, and I kind of concluded that it seemed as if they wanted money um, as well. They wouldn't be able to really say a whole lot regarding the case. They could have, um, you know, gone on and done so much to ensure whatever ha what happened to them would not happen again on a movie set, but you know, after that, that was just you know, you didn't really hear anything from them. That was pretty much it. Um, now, <clears throat> something similar has happened uh, with Gary Oldman. Um, as you all know, he's been getting. Awards. He's, he won the Golden Globe, he won the SAG, he won the uh, <clears throat> Critics' Choice Award, which I have essentially said that's good because he deserves uh, all the accolades he's getting. And soon the BAFTAs will be here, and then later on the Oscars. And he's nominated for Best Actor in both award ceremonies. Um, now, one actress, or not, one, not an actress, but um, one of Gary Oldman's wives, Donye Forentino, I believe I just butchered that name, um, they married it from 97 to 2001. She claims that during their marriage he beat her. I guess in one instance he uh, uh, beat her while sh with a phone while uh, he uh, had, while she had uh, one of their sons, like their youngest son in her arms. And they had a quite a 
bit of a, <clears throat> an inst a state investigation in a trial. And in the end, Gary Oldman got sole legal custody, sole legal and psych psychological custody of their sons, and she was allowed occasional state monitored visits. Um, and she's gone out now and saying he beat her and this and that. Um, <clears throat> The thing here is, Gary Oldman, uh, as far as I can see, you know, he's he went into rehab for alcoholism in 1995. And she was uh, saying that he would be drunk and he'd be on drugs, and that's when this would all happen. He'd beat her. But then... He claimed she was doing like prescription drugs, popping pills essentially, and uh, she was not fit to be uh, like around their kids. And it seems as if he has been sober since 95 or 96. Doesn't exactly say when he, what time of the year he entered rehab, but we can just say, I guess, since 95, he's been sober. Um, and he also has a son with an actress, Leslie Manville, who's nominated for an Oscar this year for The Phantom Threat. And it seems as if he and she, I guess, not a lot of all that's said, but I can only guess that they have uh, been, you know, uh, had a good relationship since their divorce, uh, at least for the, <clears throat> at least for the sake, I guess, for, the, for their son. You'd want, you know, you'd want to have as good of a relationship as uh, with your uh, with the mother of your child, uh, regardless. And um, I saw somewhere that uh, he's a grandfather, and that son has a child, so. sure they're both proud of their son and what all he's done and as well as they're happy I'm sure being grandparents um, and uh, yeah not a whole lot is really said about how their relationship but maybe I can look here on hers is there anything more Well, yeah, I don't know. They don't really go into a whole lot of um, detail about their marriage, but uh, it seems like he was there for his son, um, though he lived in America by the 90s. So. You know, uh, back and forth, perhaps, to England, or maybe whenever she was around, he'd have, he'd be able to see them, I don't know. Essentially, it seems like his son, his oldest son and him have a good relationship. Uh, I hope that she and him to him, Gary Oldman, they had a good relationship since. Um, it, 
Yeah, they don't really go into a whole lot. So it's left her three months after their son, Alfie, yeah, was born. Uh, who knows? They were married, like, for a few years. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Perhaps they got a... Perhaps it was just differences, or who knows? They, they Basically, they don't really go into a whole lot, but with his third wife, with his two other sons, it seems like because of now all the award awards he's gotten and the attention he's gotten, particularly for the Oscar, it seems as if she now has come out, you know, his third wife has come out and now is saying he hit her and this and that and it was violent. Just so you know that perhaps he can't get the Oscar, that he can't get that BAFTA and any other awards he could potentially get for being Winston Tur Churchill. Um, but yeah, I mean, the most I could see with any of the other relationships he had or marriages regarding children is, his, again, his first wife, but there, it says he left after three months son was born, but doesn't say why or what happened, uh, whereas it seems like, from what I'm able to see here, she didn't seem to, I guess his third wife wasn't, um, I don't know, something was up with her, and uh, he got full custody, and I think that she probably has some resentment for him for getting the custody and she only got to see them occasionally and when she did it was she had to have somebody oversee uh, her visit her visitations with her sons and you know as a result of that she's very should be very bitter and now just wants to slander him because he's out to get, he could potentially get an award, he could be, get the Oscar, you know, the Academy Award, he could be an Academy Award winner. Um, and, you know, I believe he deserves the Oscar. Um, I don't believe he hit his third wife, I don't believe that. Especially with her story saying he was drunk. Uh, I know one reason he wanted to quit was because I guess he, like he would see his son, his oldest son, his only son at that point, and when he would see him, he didn't want him to be a drunken wreck. So that was like one motivation aside from just, you know, just getting sober altogether. Um, and I seriously doubt he would want to ever relapse back into. All of that with this whole, you know, you know, I just, I don't see him doing that, you know, relapsing, especially when he has two young sons, and then, It just doesn't seem very likely that he'd want to do that, or he would. I guess you know could, could just throw out wouldn't, and I just it doesn't seem like he would at all. But um, he, yeah, I just believe she's trying to slander him so he can't get an award, an award he deserves, uh, something he's never gotten, which he should have, uh, a few at the very least, he should have a few Oscars by now, and, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I just think she's very bitter that he raised their sons on his own, essentially, um, he is married now, but I believe uh, that his sons are fully grown, they're adults, and, you know, 
they have lives. So, and she just got to see them occasionally. I don't know how often she saw them. Doesn't really specify, but yeah, some people just. I guess when you're uh, on a very good uh, su success streak, uh, in Oldman's case, uh, he's successful of obtaining a lot of awards, some he's never had. Like, he's never had a Golden Globe. But, uh, don't know if he ever won a SAG. I don't know if he ever won a Critics' Choice Award, but I do know he never because he was never nominated for a Golden Globe, so he never had the opportunity before him, uh, this past year to get one. Um, but yeah, he didn't win the, he didn't win the Oscar uh, in 2012. No. I hope he wins. Um, but he... But, yeah. I hope this does not actually influence the voters of the award ceremonies of the BAFTAs and the Oscars. I don't think it would, but, you know, just look at the history they had, that that's available. I didn't say anything that was like a court case or a, or a civil case or something, but, um, well, it did, it did go to court, actually, so, yeah, it's probably public, I believe, yeah, it is public, actually, but, yeah, it. Well, there was a trial, so, but, yeah, so. And having to have state, uh. state monitored visits doesn't really sound very good, in that something's up with her, and at least to the point where I guess she can't be alone with her son. I don't know, but it just seems like she is trying to slander her, or his, name, just so he can't get any further awards, which is really dumb, honestly. Uh, I don't know, it didn't seem to really, if she was going on about this around that time, 2001, it doesn't seem like he really... She really did anything. Um, she did Hanover 2001. 2004 was Harry Potter. First time he was ever in Harry Potter. 2005 he was in Batman Begins. So yeah, I mean, you know, around that time, it was about like three, four years later. Uh, didn't really seem to hinder his career at all. If she was going on about him uh, beating her and this and that, uh, but yeah, um, that's really all I have to say. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is happening again two years in a row being accused of something no this case it's violence um, also another thing with Affleck uh, he will not be at the Oscars to present Best Actress because you know last year with the Harvey Weinstein thing and all that Me Too and um, uh, Time's Up all this going on uh, because of the allegations he had again, which were never proven. And just because he, again, settled out of court does not mean he uh, is guilty. It just means he didn't want to prolong this any further than he needed to be. So, yeah. He uh, won't be there, probably because you know, he could get harassed and be criticized vehemently, um, might not be the right word, but whatever, uh, you know, he, he, and he doesn't want that, and he doesn't need that, quite frankly, I mean, he's got an Oscar, he won, I'm sure he would like to come back and present Best Actress, but 
he doesn't want to, you know, cause a lot of talking and stuff. And, you know, the, the Oscars will probably be somewhat political anyway because, you know, this whole Me Too time's up and uh, Trump bashing and whether you like Trump or not. It's just getting old. I mean, we get it. A good portion of you aren't fan of fans of Trump. You're all very liberal. Okay. But you've made that point already. You made it la point last. You made that point last year, and you've made it even this year. Can we just stop with it? We don't need to continue with this. Um, we get it. You're not fans of him. All unfortunately, you know, the seems like the big secret of Weinstein is out. Also, I guess you could say Kevin Spacey, though. Uh, I, I don't believe he was as influential in the movie industry as Weinstein. Um, Weinstein had quite the influence, but yeah, it seems like with nowadays. Anything can happen. You do something, you didn't do something, get accused for whatever. Whether it be sexually harassing, assaulting someone, or hitting them. And that's sad, and especially it's really sad that uh, the whole uh, the phrase uh, innocent until proven guilty is no longer, it doesn't seem to exist anymore. Very few people continue to echo that. Uh, or even if the evidence seems to stack against the said person, uh, they're still innocent until they're proven guilty. And it seems like people have decided that Affleck is guilty, though I don't know uh, if people believe that about Gary Oldman. I don't think they do. And, um, but. You never know. Okay, uh, that's all for me for now. Till next time, see y'all later.